A fun and engaging way to present back the results of a usability test is with a highlight video. Here are my seven tips for creating a killer highlights video. Number one, remember it's propaganda, not a documentary. Remember the purpose of your highlights video, it's to encourage the design team to make changes to the system. You're not a news reporter objectively presenting the strengths and weaknesses of the system. You have a point of view. So leave any balanced reporting to a written report where you have more time and space. Number two, say something positive. You're about to tell people that their baby is ugly. If your audience is the people who design the system, they may not like your attitude. So soften them up with clips showing one or two strengths of the system. Since you don't have long, make this clip do double duty. Pick a clip that also demonstrates the thinking aloud technique so people understand the process you used. Here's tip number three. Focus on the top five issues. Chances are you spotted dozens of usability problems, but in a video, you can't show them all. Instead, look over the issues and identify five common themes. For example, you might have spotted one usability problem to do with the confusing label on a form, another to do with an abbreviation that baffled users, and a third to do with poorly titled navigation. You could summarise these as a single issue, like terminology, and then select the best clips to demonstrate it. Fourth, show five clips per theme. For each of your themes, select around five clips that show the problem in all its glory. When you're choosing your clips, don't just focus on the one or two participants that were especially articulate or fun to watch. If you do this, people might say that the problems you found were due to one or two stupid users. So aim to showcase at least two participants per theme and make sure all of your participants get heard in at least one of your videos. Number five, show each problem in five minutes or less. You'll have lots of clips of participants illustrating each theme, so be ruthless with your editing. People expect video clips to get to the point quickly. Did you know the average YouTube video lasts about four minutes? So give yourself a maximum of five minutes to illustrate each usability theme. If you have five clips, that means you have just one minute per clip to make your point. Tip number six, put your best clips first. When you're creating the storyboard for each theme, put the most compelling clip first. Then, if the audience buys in and agrees, stop the video and skip to the next theme or keep it rolling if there are doubters. This approach works well because one of the biggest problems in presenting usability test results is often getting through them all. And finally, tip seven, tell your viewers what they're looking at. When you show a high-res computer screen in all its glory, it's often hard for people to see what you're getting at. People may not be able to see the user's mouse, or the user's mouse may not be where the action is. This means you should zoom in on specific areas of the screen, or use call-outs in the video to explain what's happening. This is where you need to go beyond usability testing software, like Moray and Silverback, and use more flexible tools for editing digital video, like Camtasia Studio and ScreenFlow. Both these tools are cheap ways to make your videos look great, and they'll make you feel proud of the results. So there you have it, my seven tips for creating a winning highlights video. Go create a highlights video you're proud of.